What is up? Fenton here. Playing the monster train. We were melting and we died to uh, Seraph. Wow. It's starting to be a pan. Covenant 23 enemy units have increased health. Heavy enemy units have increased health. Sorry. We'll get there. We'll beat 23. Whether we can beat 23 <laughs> consistently. Oh. Oh. How long can I stay? I'm still learning. Two fortifies, two razor sharp edge, and an impressive, and it's red green. Cool, cool. Probably three magic power or sap tap. Hmm, interesting, interesting decisions. I think it's three magic. I think three magic power is just good. I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to try and go into the ins and outs of getting card draw. Uh, wrathful? Yeah, 6 health is just not enough health. Oh, which Seraph was it again? I've already forgot. Was that chased? Did that say chased? Yeah, great. Why do you always get chased when it's red or green? Uh, oh well. I guess we all do our best. Try to do our best. Plus four. I think that's alright with the fortifies and the restores that do five health now and the torches that do five damage. I think we can model our way through that for a unit draft. Okay. That's a hand, I suppose. That's one hand where sap tap would have actually been useful. Uh, you're getting through. Indeed, getting through. Just taking the casual twelve damage there, right off the bat. change much does it but it makes it better later on so sure so the thing with <laughs> the thing with three magic power is it's actually now not really that beneficial to tag the hornbreaker prince with torches just to get a little bit extra damage it's actually pretty terrible Not dead. Regen, please. Thank you. Okay. That wasn't the best combination of a. Because their big unit was at the front. Prince just got no slays. Piercing. Delay damage. Impish Scholar or another fortify. Do I need a piercing when I've got five torches? It does say. I say piercing on it. Horn break piercing. Do I need that? It's kind of weak, right? I'll take it. Just because I feel like I probably should. A wildwood sap. Yeah. Alpha fiend. Alpha Fiend is certainly a unit that doesn't rely too much on Rage or Spikes. We do need something like that. And... Sweep, though. 
I'm gonna take the up. Ah, it's two energy. I'll take it. I feel like it's still a card that I need to decide on whether it's fast enough or not. There's a multi strike in here and a plus 25. I think we might already have it. And a thorned hollow is good. Just generally, it's probably fine. Hmm, I'm in an iron about this. Probably here. Just because you actually have 55 health when you start. And we got wild with sap and um, our regens do plus 5. Three spikes. Can I take that? 10 armor, 50. Yes, probably. Maybe. <laughs> Top floor is small. I can do this as well. It's a bit it's a bit risky that, but Maybe put you in front. Nah, I'll put you behind. You can snowball pretty well. Can I draw some regen, please? I don't respect how well the prince snowballs in terms of armor, I think, is the issue I have here. When I take it, I often feel a little bit like, oh no, he's going to die almost certainly. 13 health is not a lot. But it is. It is acceptable. Wave. Don't want you to have that much spike. Thank you very much. Where does this restore need to go? That may have been wrong. I should have, probably could have done the numbers, but it probably that uh, uh, I would imagine would have taken me an hour. Yeah, dead. Good. Oh look, Wildwood saps it. Alpha Fiend is it's amazing how much a multi strike does. Well to help is probably fine, we can get rid of it with the torches. Give the Hornbreaker Prince 20 armor. Or even give Thorn Hollow 20 armor, depending on what order we draw them. But Hidden Passage is a good card. Although it's not hugely important right now. I'll take one World Elf. And a Glimmer is generally also considered to be a good card. That you can just take when it's got three magic power. Oh boy. Pyre Health. Pie health or a magic shop? Pie health and an artifact or a magic shop and a banner. There's another two banners down here. I've never seen so many banners. Because of this, I'm actually going to go this way. Spike steal plus one damage per stack. Must remember that we need a plan to beat Seraph. Oh, sweet. Yeah, just take a train steward off me. Uh, maybe take a thorned hollow off me. Do I need this for the next couple of combats? Interesting question. I forget how we can upgrade it. 
or rather I don't know how it can upgrade, it would be a more accurate way of saying that. I've always just given him a train steward to get get a train steward out of the deck for a few turns. And I think I will continue to do that. Maybe I should have given him a spell. At least a spell may have had some value on its way back. Who knows, eh? Who knows how this works? Who knows how this game works? Certainly not me. I want a four loss streak. Oh yeah. Wow. I guess Al I guess Alpha Fiend's going on the bottom on his own. Cause screw everything about this. Stupid bomb. should scale up quite nicely. Oh my god, the regen cards. Please. Prince has done absolutely nothing. Like, just can't get him going. Oh, you're still not dead, really? Again, I could have done the math there. I probably have to do this. Just to get Alpha Fiend up to high enough numbers so that I don't die instantly to the boss. I can get you killed with a torch or something, right? Yeah. I don't feel like this is going particularly well. I lied. It's going very well. It says 8 on it, so you should play that, because 8 is bigger than 5. That's my top tip. Okay, Alpha Fiend has the damage, and he has no need for any buffs outside of just multi-strike and whatever he is. Like, he is the damage plan for Seraph, which is, is scary, don't get me wrong. Cycle of life on the prince. Three spikes. Anyway, like the problem Prince didn't do anything because he wasn't at the front. He needs that rage, and then he gets more slays because he's got the rage, and then he gets the armor, and then he just snowballs out of control. But I'm gonna play I'm gonna spend three energy for three spikes and then it's just gonna go away. I'll take a rail spike, it's fine. You can just slam that for one or two or something. Shattered shell. I do like me a shattered shell. Plonk that behind the uh, Thorned Hollow. Baby, you got a deck going. Now, here's the question. Energy? I like taking energy in red-green. So I will. I want to get Alpha Fiend down for sure. I, I've, I think I've thrown some runs unnecessarily from taking two cost units and then not planning enough on playing them. Card removes and a duplicate. What are we duplicating? What are we what would we duplicate here? 
Not really upgraded anything except Alpha Fiend. So you know that is valid. We could we could upgrade Alpha Fiend. There's no point in playing two of them though, because one does all the work and then the other one doesn't get anything else done. Especially if you can't play them both on the same floor. Card removes are nice though. But a, a, a Merchant of Steel is, is too important, I feel like. Right now. Large stone. Battle stone, heart stone, and a large stone. Don't really have space for a large stone. Unless we just take steel worker and make him large and that's the floor. I don't think that's correct. I don't think... I think we're alright. I think we just need to go all in on this now. We need to just go all in on what we've got. How do I still have 290 gold? Good lord. Oof, 23. No. Um. Let's start getting rid of some crap. I might reroll actually. Quick, quick sweep is, is. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a very large fan of quick sweep. Okay, we got some good upgrades there from that store. Raffle two. Ariaga, Ariaga 2, Baliaga, Arubia, and Pisozza. Seraph is going to get rid of all that rage, but he's not, he's not going to get that much rage. Here's an interesting one. I might actually be able to do this this time. Because Quill Marksmans die easily even if they're behind stuff due to all the spikes. Clipped Reflectors don't, but Alpha Fiend... The problem is, is Alpha Fiend and Hornbreaker Prince are going to take a little while to get there. Once they do get there, they're, they're there, right? But this guy is, spawns with 100 armor, and there's no way my, there's no way I deal with that off the bat. This technically doesn't do 20, this does 25, because he gets the plus 5 after the first strike. So I do 50. Yeah, no. It's it's too much. I think it's a little bit too much. What order do I play these units in? this way as well. Okay, there are all my units. So this guy would have gone to the top with 90. Would have taken 56. 56? That's more than I thought. And this guy would have gone. There's 105 in this combat as well. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't take that trial. <laughs> I'm not going to play the Glimmer because I want you to get the Slay. So I'm, I'm just going to. Oh no, because you die from the spikes. Oh no, I gave you quick. I gave you quick. Oh, that can't. Oh, why? Why does this always happen? Alright, 
We're taking 10 there. Thanks to that misplay. Misclick. Definitely should not have taken the trial. Like, that is thankfully... No room for the Welder Helper, like, at all. Well done. Well played. I'm slamming this for four. Don't want any of the rest of these. Always you. This is just where this razor sharp edge needs to go. Get Alpha Fiend a bit beefier now, on the assumption that this is not going to clear. Well, we have to really, right, because we still need to deal with this and this. 26, so you go up with 24, so you die to you and then you need a bit more to get there before. Oh, but Alpha Fiend's going to... Uh, I'm going to just do it anyway. And I'll soften you up. I'll soften you up a bit. Alpha Fiend's on 40 times too now. That's quite nice. You've got Encant, but it doesn't matter because you're just dead from this floor regardless of... As long as I don't give you more than, like, 133. 138, I suppose, technically. Or even more because of this rage. You do have Slay. Boo! It's fine, I got away with it. Wow, you're just dead from this floor. I did not expect that. I guess when your spikes are dealing 52 damage. <laughs> you know? So we're set for units now, right? We don't need to go to Merchants of Steel anymore. Am I upgrading any of these? I think I want to go this way and get rid of cards. But then I don't go to a Merchant of Magic for a long time. What do I want from a Merchant of Magic? Especially if I take this. Do I deal... 8 damage to Hornbreaker Prince to give him 20 armor. Maybe it gets him 3 rage as well. Yeah, alright. I'm game. I've got the Awoken Rail Spike as well. so And an Awake. An Awake is a good card. Focus Growth is also a good card. Pyro is also a good card. These are all the good cards. Uh, they're the, they're alright cards, I suppose. It's just whether you clog the deck up with them or not. Whether they're just doing things that your deck already does, and so then you just make the deck more inconsistent by taking them. Like kind of this is applies to this. But I'm take maybe I'll take focus growth for the draw then, so that I can at least try and draw some of these fortifies. They're free, and then continue to remove cards. Like I could probably get away with removing the torches now. Okay. 
Look who it is. Revenge one attack. Yeah, hold hold on to it, pal. Hold on to it. I will not disappoint you. The only way you could disappoint me is by giving it me back, really. What are we duplicating? Does that, do we duplicate Alpha Fiend and just stick it on the small floor? Wherever that ends up being? It's possible. It's possible it does a non-zero amount of stuff for us. I don't think we need it. I think Alpha Fiend with these two razor sharp edge is in pretty incredible. That's going to be a pretty hefty amount of damage, which is also uh, like outside of the purview of what Seraph can debuff as well, which is why I kind of have gone all in on it in the first place. Maybe I'll take two Awoken Rail Spikes and try and just get all of the deck to be quite cheap, and then when I take Draw on the next from the next boss, then. We just draw loads of cards and play them all. I guess. Um, sweep. That's sad. Four spikes. I'm worried that Shad Shell just eats it, but at the same time, I think that we're we're quite far ahead. I feel. I feel like I'll take a random artifact here. I'd rather, you know, four spikes is like six times, approximately six times easier to deal with than enemy units regain all their health on the way up. Choice there, get some spikes going. Hmm, none of these are regen cards, and as such, the Shad Shell. Ah, no, no, it's fine. Just because I've got the armor as well. I need to do 10 damage here. So I guess. I'll bulk you up slightly. And take a slay away from you, but also make it so that you don't take full damage. Okay. Weird start. Can I draw Glimmer now, please? Thank you. Should I be playing all of my cards on the one unit who is almost certainly going to die regardless? Don't know. So this is one of those strategies that's a bit... Oh good, I'm about to draw a Woken Rail Spike with a Woken Rail, sp rail Spike. This, this, this floor's pretty chunky. I'm pretty happy with how this floor's going. Not enough energy, of course not.
Wow, that hand's a bit garbage, isn't it? Because, I mean, I mean, you got sweep, so, like, really, I was only going to get you two rounds either way. So, yeah, I probably should have noticed that about what was happening and uh, done something else. You're also not looking too hot, are you? Oh, dear. Ah, oh, 638, thank Christ. I was worried there that this was going to be a pure throw. That was all Wildwood Sap, I believe. Ah, focus growth. Nice. Good time to draw that card. What on earth is that? Concussive Coals. 50% oh it's because I never take it because it's bad sure <laughs> yeah this card just says gain 25 armor on it right that's that seems good stings do how much now eight draw plus one the next turn eh uh, mm, maybe Nah. Dex 30 cards already. It's time to start sorting this out. Look who it is, sir. Uh, home slice. Heaven's finest. That's really not that good. I'm glad I didn't give, a, give him a Woken Hollow for five combats. Three combats. However many combats it's bloody been. Don't need to go this way. Well, an artifact is obviously nice. But we can buy an artifact here, because we apparently have 460 coins. Carry the one. 460 coins. What you got for me, huh? Plus three. Merchant costs are reduced. 50% chance to swap. No. Plus three health. That's not a lot, is it? Sting spells. No. Grant four stacks of armor each time it is applied. Sweet. Time for the torches to go. We're down to 29. I keep spending, I think. These torches are not cutting it anymore. 28 cards against Fell. This is a Rage Fell, isn't it? This one? Yeah. This will be scary. This is going to be scary. Rage Fell is difficult. Arguably too difficult. But you know, I'm no date. I'm no game designer. Middle floor is small today. Oh. Oh. Oh, you do have quick, actually. But uh, the fact that you've raged here is just gross. Quick. If I don't draw Alpha Fiend, then Shatter Chill just dies. So you die. So I'm taking 12 and 6 times 2 is 24. So I'll play this. You get down to 12 with 20 armor. So you do live, but not, <laughs> not for loads of time. Oh, 24 armor. Yeah, of course. I took the thing. Not for a huge amount of time. Especially if I don't draw the Alpha Fiend or the uh, Thorned Hollow. I really don't want to put Thorned Hollow in front of Thornbreaker Prince. So if I draw the Alpha, just the Alpha Fiend, I'm sad. But I can't play on the middle. Unless I play Hornbreaker Prince Shattered Shell on the middle. Play Thorned Hollow on the top and play Alpha Fiend at the bottom. I think I'm going to do that. Also because this floor is just generally a lot safer. For now. Oh god, you raged them again. I did draw just the Alpha Fiend. Oh, they got dazed. Carried.
This says two energy on it, doesn't it? Probably should have uh, probably should have noticed that. Ugh, you're getting up the top for quite a lot. No reason to kill you, because you've got quick, so you kill the man so then you get the slay bonuses. I'm going to do this in the hopes that I can somehow... Uh, yeah. In the hopes that I can get you another bunch of damage on you, which I can't really, can I? But whatever, it's the best place for it. Take some damage here. Stop it! <laughs> Please! Why? 19! Seven stacks of rage! Oh, yeah, just play that on the in-count floor. Good stuff. I don't really see what choice I have, though, really, if I want to... Ah, uh, it doesn't do enough... It doesn't do enough spikes. Or does it? I really don't want to die to this guy. 60. He's taking 8. So it's gonna... I'm, I'm still gonna take... 38 from him. If I play Restore, gains 2 spikes, so then he takes 10 and goes down to 60 anyway. I'll play the Wildwood, so that makes more sense. I hope this guy doesn't kill me, I hope my maths works out there. Oh no, he's got 62 HP. Am I dead? Oh, good. No, what happened there? Oh, the rage decayed over the turns. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh boy, my uh, my heart's pounding. I'm not going to play this, because all of these cards are very good. I need you to be a bit... I uh, need you to be weak for this... Uh, for this to happen. Oh, I'll just slam it for zero, getting out of the bloody deck. I really thought this was going to be more damage than this. And it might just be because Alpha Fiend and... Because uh, I've had to split up my units in a weird way. Weird combat. What a weird deck. Do I say that every time? I think so. Dead, dead, dead. Great, we actually made some flipping headway. Actually managed to do something without dying. 711, that's pretty tasty, isn't it? Oh, wait. The dream. 988. 1200. Almost 1300. Wow! Where 
Where's the beef, huh? Where's the beef on this floor? This floor is extremely sans beef. It's beef free. It's a Linda McCartney sausage. Beef sausage, I suppose. Uh, I suppose regular sausages would also be beef free. Reinforce. Double armor on a unit. If only it didn't say consume. Do I take space? Because sometimes I get really awkward drawer and floor configuration? I think the answer is no. Boy, this is touch and go, isn't it? Higher health, possibly, might be a good idea. What am I duplicating if I take Pyre Health? An alloy of the ancients, I would imagine. Or maybe I upgrade some magic cards to have, like, Holdover or something useful on them. Because currently I've not done that. But they're all kind of upgraded anyway, because we got three magic power and also armor is better as well. So... I'm just really worried about only having 45 Pyre Health. But these two are just not particularly exciting right now. Holdover. Holdover Glimmer is pretty nice. It's this again. 90 health Thorned Hollows back. Seen that recently. It's arguably not the best idea. So I've in fact taken Pyre Health here from this decision. Maybe hold ah, ah maybe hold over focus growth and minus one it. Twenty eight health is a lot of health. But equally, five health to the whole floor is also nice. This says draw two printed on it though, don't it? Don't it? Raffle 3 or Reaper. Slay 10. So the Slay and the Rage can't... Sorry, the Slay and the Armor can't get taken away by Seraph. It's just whether you want 29 Armor and a f Rage that will get taken away, or... I'm going to just pivot slightly over to this, just as a little bit of resiliency against Seraph taking the rage away, and we'll see. Non-boss enemy units get 8 with multi-strike. Like, no? I mean, 15 times 2, that's gross enough as it is, aren't you? 23 times 2? Christ. Although you would have died from quick shattered shell. So, yeah, that's something to think about. Drew all four of my units. I'm just glad I recognised that and planned my energy accordingly. Yeah, this is the concern, is that I don't really do enough quickly enough. Ouch. I'm getting very lucky with the dazed. Oh man, the collector got dazed as well, I didn't even notice. 
Okay, I'm about to take 20 here, and you're not getting killed at all. That did not help. I'm bloody dead, aren't I? Hundred and seventy-six. Ah, uh, I'm upset. Okay, I did actually manage to draw the Welder Helper and the Impressive, but it's still not enough. Need to get you to eighty. What a stupid game this is. What a ridiculously stupid game. Ah! Twenty pyre health would have done it as well. I should if I'd have recognised that I actually needed the pyre health. If we don't go that way, then we don't get this upgraded, which admittedly didn't do much in that exact combat, but it probably would have done eventually. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with this game. Whether I'm any good at it, or if it's difficult, or both, or I'm just not learning enough about it. That's five losses in a row. Not even at the highest difficulty setting yet. Uh, if you got any if you got any feedback for me, please please let me know. Uh, other than that, leave a like and all that nonsense. I'm really deflated now. I haven't won this. I haven't won a run on this game in a long time. A long time, feels like. Look at this page. Ugh, gross. That's you know. I mean, you can't win them all. I, I appreciate that. Just be nice to win some. <laughs> you can't win them all, but you should be able to win at least one in five. You know, there's players with like ten win streaks on Covenant 25. I can't even bleed it, bloody beat the game once. Maybe an Inferno was what I needed. Maybe I did need that Inferno. We're dealing a we dealt a lot of damage just after the second round. But then I did get lucky with the order I drew, Alpha Fiend and the two um the two uh, for uh, the, the the two Razor Sharp Edge, that's it. Razor Sharp Edge on the multi strike Alpha Fiend was doing a lot. And so I suppose the deck was basically nothing until that happened. If the decks need to be faster than that, right, if you need to draw faster than that to win, then it's going to come down to a lot of drawing a good opening hand, or a good opening two draws. No, I'm tilting. I'm tilting here. I'm tilting pretty hard. I feel like with a different draw we win. No, I don't feel like I feel like that was the best draw we could have gotten and we lost. So it's obviously the deck's problem. But building a deck that kicked off a little bit faster than that. You just need that resiliency, I suppose. You just need that. But then if you add an Inferno and it's the bottom card of the deck, you lose that combat regardless. So I guess you do have to go and take 20 Pyre health. Or you take less Pyre damage in the previous combat so that when that guy gets through... But that was almost... That was 50 Pyre damage, that was, wasn't it? The guy... The, two, the first guy got through, did 20... And the second guy got through absolutely untouched. Yeah, well, you live and learn, I suppose. What can you even do about that? Unless you've got, you know, you need sweep, you need something that changes the order of the enemy units around. A hidden passage, I suppose, would have done a lot of work there, just 
taken that first, um, taken some of the big tanky units away, or maybe I don't respect um, steelworker enough, or rail beater, or, or, or wife beater, or maybe I don't respect that card enough. It's kind of got to be on the front line, though, right? Where is he? Rail beater. I mean, I've never gilded it, never won a run with it, so... He has to be at the front, push the attack unit to the back, so then the big zero but 100 health and 100 armor gets pushed to the back, and then you can kill the heavies. But then there's some scenarios where the heavies are in front and the things behind you need to deal with, and then you just end up pushing the heavies to the back, and then they get up the top anyway. I suppose if you have sweep as well. Okay, it's just one of the questions we're not answering, right? We, the questions are, how do you deal with backline, how do you deal with heavies, and how do you deal with um, something else? Bosses, I suppose. And we could deal with bosses, and we could deal with backline, we just couldn't deal with heavies. We just couldn't deal with heavies, and I should have recognised that and taken some cards that helped me deal with heavies. You know, like I did get offered a battering ram, maybe I should have taken that. Did get offered an inferno, should have maybe taken that. You know, it's not like the game didn't try. Alright, well there we go. That's enough introspection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, click the like button, etc. Uh, I've already said all this already, I think, but whatever. Um, I'll see you next time.